I'm going to talk to you for this afternoon about an ESSA plan that we've been asked to prepare in this technology. So I'm going to take you through the elements of a package holiday. So again, some of you, this is your first time here, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Most of you have travelled before. Okay. And I'm going to find out how you've actually organised your travel, what you've done to create your, ho your holiday or travel itinerary. So I need your help. And I would like for you, well, first of all, to tell me where have you travelled to? A lot of places. Such as? The Netherlands, most, mostly anyway. Good. Um, Dubai, Germany, and Dublin. Good, so not a good day. And then Turkey. Yeah, yeah. Turkey, um, France, Poland, Turkey, England. Excellent, nice mix there as well. Uh, England, Switzerland, France. I really liked France, okay. <laughs> so you all have travelled in your experience yeah. with travel, that's great. Have you heard of uh, an app called Mentimeter? No. Can I ask you maybe to take out your phones? And we'll use the phone technology to help us with this class this afternoon. So there's a code just here on the top left hand side. So if you could kindly put that into your phones for me, please. When you have the code entered, you'll be asked to create a nickname or to use your own name. So whatever you'd like. Okay? And I'm just going to change the screens. Great. So we've asked the first question, how many of you have travelled outside of Ireland? And luckily, all four of you have. And we assume this might be your first trips maybe over the year and a half after COVID, even though we know for some it might be different, but it's yeah. great to be back and travelling. Great. So that's lovely. The second question, then you were asked, what different modes of transportation you've used? And again, some of you have travelled by train, great. Nobody's taken a boat or a ferry, but you've all travelled by plane. Okay, so again, we're seasoned with our plane travel at this stage after two flights yesterday. Great. The third question, oh, we have a leadership board there, but as you see, everybody's on equal footing. Okay, and I'm learning as I go along with this as well. So the travel agency, and again, that's the nature of what we're talking about, because again, with COVID, it's been impacted quite a lot. But well, I see some of you have used a travel agency before and others haven't. We're going to talk about why you've used it and what you've used it for as well. And question four. Did you book yourself? As in, did you use your own technology, your own skills to book a holiday? And again, two and two. So that's really good, interesting, nice divide. And the final question. No answers put in. That's okay because we're going to do that with the class. What is the role of the travel agency? So, you give me examples of a train and the plane for using transportation. We also have our boats and our ferries, but we use transport obviously to travel. And you can see here from the PowerPoint the plane, the train, the boat helicopter if you're at VIP in the five star areas, or a minibus that we got from our connection from Ishmael down to Kush last, last evening. So these are forms of transportation. So when people think of transportation, they normally think of the bigger things like the plane or the cruise ship, which you see in the harbour of Kush Lassie over the next couple of days. Okay. But do you know the term transfer? Can you explain the term transfer? Going from one place to the other. Going from one place, like me going from here to the front reception, or in what sense? Like for our transfer yesterday, we had to go from Istanbul to Izmir. Perfect. And we used a plane to get that yes. transfer. How did we get from Izmir to Push uh, A minibus. A minibus. So the transfer then is really good, okay? So the transfer literally can be the transportation of a passenger between two points, like you said, such as from an airport to a hotel or vice versa are often included as an element of a tour. Okay, so during the week we're going to have a tour and we'll take the transport with us when we're going, obviously. But we could have a public transportation. So there's a little mini buses here in Kushtasi, the public buses. Um, we had a private coach. We'll have one again during the week. Private mini buses, you'll see, are doing a lot of business now again. 
taxis on foot and light rail. So again, the transfer can be a number of these elements. Okay. Now, another element is the form of, of accommodation. So again, when you go on holiday, how do you decide what accommodation you use? Kind of goes by what, where you're actually staying and how many people are going with you and prices. So the people number and the prices are a big element to that. Anything yeah. else? Yeah. How close it is to where you want to be. Excellent. So accessibility. Anything else? And whether like, if you want a place that you can cook yourself or if you're going to go out and eat every day. Great. And what's available at the time? Because again, of course, the Jazz Festival is next weekend and it's very hard to get accommodation. Mm -hmm. So again, you have heard or known most of these forms of accommodation types. Is there anyone there that you're not familiar with? A part hotel. A part hotel is very much in the continent where it's a hotel that has self-catering. So you have your apartment in a hotel but it has a kitchenette, basically. And again, not common from our own perspective, but we're more Airbnbs and B&Bs are pensions as they call them amongst the continent, whereas apartment hotels are quite common. Very good, okay. So you combine all these together and you create a package holiday. So we've got three elements. Can you name them so far? Transfers um, and foundation. And transport. 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 transport, okay. Those alone are the basis of a package holiday. But we've another element. And you can see here from the photograph from uh, one of our travel agents in Cork, that a travel agency can be very busy, even though people can still, like yourselves, have done, booked online. Okay, so the package holiday, as you know, you can get this online through the website of the travel agency, or you can pick up a brochure and actually look through the brochure to see what's available. So it's in a hard copy format, and again, online. So the fourth element is a thing called one significant other, and people don't really think about it because they're doing an event or they're doing another activity that ties in with their actual holiday. So examples, I should have asked you before I showed the slide, would be the wedding or the honeymoon, or both. Can you give me examples of a sporting event, maybe something that you heard from the group here? The Olympics or skiing. Or Good, the Olympics or skiing, the shooting, the biathlon from Bavaria, exactly. Concerts, okay, and if you get tickets to any concerts next summer, um, going to a concert in the tree arena. Who for? Two. You probably don't know. No, we don't. Actually, <laughs> right. 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 Great, but was it easy to get the concert tickets? Yeah. How did you get them again? I uh, went online. You went online again, so you were very active. And... Did you queue up as well? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, well, if skiing, you know, round the world trips? Don't think you fancy it really, no? No. Too much trouble. All right, volunteering holidays and cruising, and again, retirement holidays and other tourist activities that are not directly to the above, but which make up a significant part of your actual trip or your package, okay? So now I'm gonna get you to practice some of what we've actually done. And I'm gonna, well, you might recognize Mick Flannery. Do you know Mick Flannery from Ireland? Okay, so Mick Flannery is very well known uh, to the Irish, great singer, by from Blarney, from where I'm from. And he's going to be playing with Susan O'Neill in the Netherlands. So your task as groups, if I break you down into smaller groups to work together, is to create a package holiday, say for myself, for one of the people here, to go to the Netherlands. So I'm going to ask you to go on the website to see how much the tickets are, because part of creating the package holiday is the cost element. Now, I don't want you to worry about getting from Cork to Dublin. I want you to take the flight direct from Dublin, because as you know, the airport in Cork at the moment is on the surface, so it's not available to us. And again, taking that first element, which we call what? Getting the flight over to the Netherlands? Transport. The transport, perfectly. Then transfer to The Hague. So we're looking for a way to get down to The Hague. And then accommodation, and then the tickets for the event. Are you up for the challenge? Okay, so let's get started. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>